Hi everyone, Bernard here, hope you're all well. It's a little movie review on a film called The Last Full Measure. There you go, that's one. You've seen that one or familiar with that one. It's a new one to me. I only uh, saw this a couple of days ago, so I've been checking up on it. Please, if you're new to the channel, push the old subscribe button there. Push the bell notification so we know these little movie review specials, etc. are coming out. Please, thumbs up are always appreciated. Right, let's talk about this. We've got an American movie here. It's obviously, I'm over the pond in the UK. Perhaps don't know as much about this as uh, you guys in the, in the US do. Um, it's The Last Full Measure, which apparently is part of a line taken from the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Well, there you go. I've learned something today. An hour and 56 minutes. It's a war drama. Vietnam War. Uh, written and directed by Todd Robinson, and its story follows a, a gentleman or a guy called William H. H. Pitsenbarger. I think that's how you pronounce it. A United States Air Force para rescue man. There you go. It's something else I didn't know about. Who flew in helicopter mission, rescue missions during the Vietnam War to aid down soldiers and pilots. And this is a story about the 34-year quest by many veterans to see him receive the Medal of Honor, which is a posthumous award, obviously. This concentrates on the mission when he personally helped to save over 60 men during a rescue mission on April the 11th, 1966. So it will be, what, 40? Oh, my, head is my, my head working 54 years ago, obviously, um, in the next, next couple of months or so. Uh, stars Samuel Jackson, Jeremy Irvine, Christopher Plummer, Ed Harris, William Hurt and the wonderful, marvellous Peter Fonda in his final posthumous film role. Any good? Well, it wasn't a massive box office. I mean, it's, it's sort of mainly shot, obviously the Vietnam scenes are shot through flashback. Um, you don't get a wide sway of, uh, of obviously Southeast Asia. So the budget was $20 million, which is quite small. But sadly, it's only recouped $3 million of that. Obviously, I assume in the US there's a little, still a lot of fallout with these sort of films with Vietnam, etc. So that's not a very good turn. That's not a very good return, is it? $3 million. It's still available. It's still on, obviously, and will be available in other territories. So that could increase, but uh, not very good. Rotten Tomatoes, a review aggregator, gave the last full measure an approval rating of 60%, which is okay, based on 60 critics, an average rating of just over 6.2 out of 10. And the site's critics' consensus reads, the last full measure struggles to capture the incidents that inspired it, but ultimately prevails thanks to strong performances in a service of a remarkable true story. The Metacritic, the Metascore rating, not quite as high. It's only got a weighted average of 5.2 out of 10, which isn't great. And that's based on 23 critics. Amongst the lowest, we've got Austin Chronicle's Richard Whittaker, who only gave it a 4 out of 10. He commented, what could have been a worthy tribute becomes a by-the-numbers melodrama. And one of the higher reviews is only about 6 out of 10. This is from the raps Candice Frederick. At its core, the last full measure is a poignant re-evaluation re of gallantry and of how survivors' guilt impacts those veterans whose lives were spared. It's not without its flaws, and Robinson's wobbly narrative bears much of the blame, but its emotional resonance will stay with you long afterward. Internet Movie Database, the user's Joe Public Rating. Okay, 6.5 out of 10, not a bad score. Some of the comments and some of the scores, a story that must be heard, quite right, 7 out of 10. A broken piece of story, 2 out of 10. Great movie, 6 out of 10. Propaganda movie, one out of ten. A very moving, well-told story, nine out of ten. War is stupid, one out of ten. Well, it is, isn't it? But people, unfortunately, had to take part in these wars, whether, you know, at the end of the day. That's just how it is. Uh, my little movie game, Nostalgia Review. Uh, I made a few little comments on there. I'll just read from, from what I've said. Um, these movies will sadly always split opinion, and especially so if the subject is the Vietnam War. It's a shame when films about such bravery do this. There are stories that need to be told, no matter what the political background, to why humans find themselves in these terrible conflicts. Whether these stories are best told through historical documentaries rather than big screen drama is another matter. I I don't agree with either of that, really. I think, I think a good film... Uh, is just as powerful as a good documentary, but either or. The movie is well put together and treats the subject matter with the respect it deserves. It's not about the Viet Cong, and they have their own stories and heroes, I'm sure. This is about an American hero, and if you do not know the story of William Pitsenbarger, 
than seek out the real story. I, th I certainly will. I found the story a little dry, a little ploddy at times, and we did see that not everyone is a hero in the story, which brings more reality and truth to the drama. It's an okay tribute, not without its flaws, and in its way also a small tribute to Peter Fonda, rest in peace. And I'll give it an MGN movie game nostalgia rating of 6 out of 10. It, it, maybe, maybe, as I said, it's we don't have the political aspects of it over here. I like a horrible thing to say, isn't it? But I do like a good Vietnam War movie, and there's some crackers out there and some brilliant ones, but... Um, I wouldn't say this was up there with the best, but it's a good story. It deserves to be told. It's an interesting thing, and it, it makes you go out and find out a little bit more about this guy than absolutely fantastic. It's done its job, and I'm sure there are documentaries out there for you to, to look, at, look at as well. But uh, it's great. A very, very poignant ending, very, very sickly sweet ending that, that you would expect, but a really good ending. I mean, I, I've seen similar sort, of, uh, similar sort of presentations on other films, but, uh, yeah, it is a nice ending, and... Uh, as I say, speaking from over the pond, what a what a great what a great man, what a great story. Um, very good. Can't say much more than that, really. If you've watched it, please let me know in the comments what you thought about it. If you're going to watch it or in the coming weeks, please let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching this. And if you follow me on Twitter at nostalgia underscore movie for all the latest film and documentary and movie news, etc. On there, and follow me on Bernard Deneen with links to. Uh, moviegamenostalgia.com Bernardine, you, uh, Facebook on Bernardine with links to moviegamenostalgia.com my little website for the rarer DVDs, posters and board games so if you can spend any time to have a look on there, much appreciated anyway, thanks, thumbs up, thumbs up if you like it, only, only a small one today on this it's uh, quite an unusual film and I said it has split people, which, which is bound to isn't it, it's, you know, some people obviously the main criticism of the film seems to be the fact that it's it's about war you know, and it's stupid, yeah course it's stupid but these things happen they still go on happening don't they we never learn but there you go that's uh i'm not gonna get all political and think about it six out of ten for the film a good a good watch and a great story and i'll certainly find out a little bit more about this gentleman anyway thanks for watching today what are we gonna do the rest of the day? have a great one look after yourself look after your friends and more importantly look after your family and hopefully you'll join me again for a, another little movie special in the future thanks for watching it's burn saying goodbye <laughs>